was on fire at the Stan Sheriff Center tonight. Third ranked Rainbow Warriors volleyball team and second ranked UCLA in a rematch. Three local guys, Colton Cowell, Austin Matatia, and Larry Tuileta, all on the floor during crucial sets. The Rainbow Warriors 7 and 0 after knocking off undefeated Bruins on Friday night. Back to the Fen home court. Good evening, I'm MG Montemayor. Neither team backing down. This matchup was a thriller from start to finish. Hawaii came out strong to take the first set. Team high and kills went to Rado Parapunov, who finished with 18. To test its depth, head coach Charlie Wade queued in Mata, Tia, and Kao in set three, who came up huge, finished with nine and five kills, plus a couple of aces by Kao. Stein Van Tilburg in the zone in set four, wiping out UCLA's seven match points. But the Bruins found a way to defeat UH 3-1. Set's course went 25-22, 20-25, 22-25, and 30-32. Both suffered their first loss of the season and a 26 home match win streak snapped. Next up is Lise McRae on Thursday night. And over to golf. Final round of the Pure Silk Bahamas Classic where Punahou's Michelle Wee kicked off her 10th full season as an LPGA member. That's her round three birdie on the 13th hole. She finished tied for 11th at four under par. In the end, Brittany Lindsay Combe pulled off a 12 under par for the win in Paradise Island for the second straight year and her eighth career title. And to tennis, age is nothing but a number today for second seeded Roger Federer. The Swiss beat Marin Cilic in five sets to win his sixth Australian Open, retaining the title he won just a year ago. It's his 20th Grand Slam at the age of 36. Ken Rosewall in 1972 at age 37, the only guy older to win a major singles title in the Open era. And the 2018 Pro Bowl in Orlando today, the NFL's all-star game for the 2017 season. The AFC rallied from a 17-point deficit to stun the NFC. Well, no Marcus Mariota, but this game's got the next best thing. Favorite target and tight end, Delaney Walker for the Titans. Caught AFC's first touchdown pass in the third to make it 20-10. AFC still down 23-17 in the fourth. Derek Carr darts it to Walker again to give his team its first lead of the game with 91 seconds left on the clock. Extra kick is good, and the red team took home the spoils. 24-23, the final. And next Sunday, Super Bowl 52 in Minneapolis, Philadelphia versus New England. Kamehameha's Kamu Bruje Hill, Eagles linebacker but emergency kicker here against Dallas this season, represents in the big game. Tip-offs at 1.30 p.m. Rainbow Warriors basketball team fell to Cal State Fullerton in a heartbreaker last night, snapping its four-game win streak and dropping from first to fourth in the Big West. Credit them. I thought our guys fought. We have work to do. It's a quick turnaround, so this game's very humbling. No, we got to embrace that and enjoy the struggle, enjoy the fight. Uh, we bounce back after a loss. Obviously, there's a lot of good teams in our league. We got to have a good week of practice. Next, the 4 2 Bows head back on the road for the first time in a month. A matchup with UC Santa Barbara on Thursday. Tip offs 5 p.m. Hawaii time. And as for the women's hoops team, a much-needed win last night against UC Riverside, halting their three-game losing skid. We've had a real issue with coming out of the locker room third quarter, you know, doing anything well. Right? We lose our focus, so to see them have a really good surge in the third was nice. We haven't made it easy on ourselves all season, um, but an ugly win again, I'll take it. We needed a win. We need to start getting back on track. We have a really difficult road trip, so this one's big for us. Rainbow Hine improved 2-6 in the Big West. Ladies also back on the road on Thursday. They'll face Cal Poly at 5 p.m. Hawaii time. And congrats to the Moana Lua Cheer who took home the trophy today. National champions in the Advanced Small High School Division at the National Cheerleaders Association Competition in Dallas. Nice to see girls from the islands rep on the mainland at that competition. Yes, they are. <laughs> Spunky little ones there. <laughs> and a great crowd out there for the volleyball. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to see that kind of crowd for all of the U.S. I believe it's like over 4,700 tonight, so really good turnout. Impressive. There. Good stuff. Thanks, MG. Sure. Well, the world's safest flamethrower, believe it or not,